Welcome to Math Cognizant. This is the fourth part of the series in counting number of triangles. In this video, you will see composite figures along with squares. So you will be finding totally different figures from past videos. You can look at the first figure. There is only one square, but in one square, you, you can see there are four triangles. One, two, three, four. When you have four such uh, triangles, you need to multiply it by two. So you can notice that in each corner, there will be a formation of bigger triangles. So there are total of eight triangles in the first figure. Let's check the second figure. There are two squares, similar type of squares, and each square will make eight triangles. Okay, and next you have to see that where two squares meet, there will be a formation of one triangle. So, there are 8 plus 8, 16, 16 plus 2, that's the bigger triangles there. So, 16 plus 2, that's equals to 18 triangles. So, there are a total of 18 triangles when we have two squares and it's been diagonally divided. You can notice the third figure there are three such type of squares and where two squares meet at a point there is a formation of two triangles the bigger size so three squares meeting at two points make it two plus two that's equals to four so add all these numbers 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 8 24 24 plus 4 gives you 28 triangles so this is how you are going to uh, count number of triangles in a square. You might think it's a complicated figure, but it's not. You can notice there are four squares making each as eight triangles. So let me write it down, eight triangles on each four squares. And where the two squares meet, the two shapes meet, the formation of two triangles, the bigger triangles. Okay, so... 2 plus 2 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. Total of 8 triangles will be formed where 2 shapes meet. Okay. So, the next part what we need to do is count the corner triangles. See, there are 4 corner triangles which is being formed. And just follow the lines what I am drawing. So, this is going to be the first triangle the corner triangle and then it's going to be the second corner triangle in this way the same way there will be formation of four different corner triangles so let's start writing it down and we need to count the top triangle also so four times eight gives you 32 and we need to count uh, two each of the triangles so that makes it eight plus the four corner triangles so let's write it 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we need to count the top triangle. So when a triangle is being divided by a bisector, vertical bisector, there is a formation of three triangles. And then where the two shapes meet, there is a formation of two more triangles. So altogether there are five triangles. So when you add all these, 32 plus 8 is 40, 40 plus 4, 44, 44 plus 5 gives you 49. So there are a total of 49 triangles in this shape. So next shape, it's a complex figure where we have two squares with 8 triangles each. And on the extreme right and left, there are two triangles which makes three, three triangles each. And we have one on the top and at the center so even that makes a three triangle so there are all together 25 triangles from here but we have to count the triangles which are made by the different figures so this is the first triangle this is the second one and here is the third triangle what is being formed and this is the fourth so there are four extra triangles are being formed that all together makes it 29 triangles 
so the next question we have is the shape let's start counting how many triangles in a bigger square we have let me number it down one two three four five six seven eight when we have eight triangles that means we need to multiply it by two uh, to make a total number of 16 triangles so in a bigger square there are 16 triangles similarly we need to count number of triangles in a smaller and inner square even in inner square there are eight triangles so altogether there will be 16 times 2 that's 32 triangles which is being formed by two squares inscribed within each other these are the different types of figures you can find in the competitive exams uh, by using the simple strategies you can solve these questions very easily and in less amount of time hope you understood this concept please like subscribe and press the bell button to get notified on our latest videos